Oh, trailer dragon day again. We're at the I-64 KOA in Grable. We're in Illinois. Illinois. And I just went to put some, some gas in the truck, as one does. Came home, went immediately to start flushing the black tank, and scared Cindy to death. Because nobody's home, and then this noise started. And she knows that means water is pouring into the RV somewhere. You gonna be okay? No, I'm not. I'm a little upset. <laughs> She's kind of mad at me. It's a good way to start a day of uh, treasure hunting. <sighs> I got my right. adrenaline going. <laughs> Man, scared me to death. So lesson learned, I will always check in when I get back from doing anything. Say, hey, Tadaima. <laughs> Ohio uh, right? Is that right? <laughs> That's right. Good job. So no harm, right? No, not yet. Not <laughs> yet. <laughs> no harm. Definitely a foul, though. <laughs> When you're traveling like this, you see, I don't even know that it would be considered the highlight reel, but you typically go through the main downtown because that's where the, the highways go through. They go through Main Street and the, and the, and the main downtown is that. I don't know. Paul Bunyan's little brother. Guy. Little giant grocery outlet. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you go through the main downtown, and but you don't really see what the place the area is like, you know, to the four dealer. There's a, the one, there's a red one right there. That's pretty. It's super pretty. It's a good red. Yeah, that would do it. Anyhow. Um, Anyhow, yes. And so all of those things may be around here. They may be. But instead, we just think it's this little thing right here. But I in, feel like I'm not making... Oh, well, dear. You're making sense. The difference, I think, is when you go through downtown, you can look like half a block down and go, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Like, oh. Ew. Ew. Oh. What the... Lock the doors. Why? Don't make eye contact. I mean, oh, dear. You still well, it splashed. You went for a bump. Oh, Jimmy got coffee splashed on him. Go just for the night. Nowhere is ever too far, baby. All we got is time. A small town run down, so let's run away from here. From the coast to the coast, where everything is clear. I still think it would be fun to have, well, like that that place right there for corner 69 that I was looking at on five acres. You know, then you could be a harvest host, right. you know, or just a, just not necessarily a harvest host, but you know what I mean, just, just, a, a, just a place where, you out. know, yeah, an Airstream parking, courtesy parking thing. You can even break it up and, you know, run some, run some power or whatever to, yeah. you know, four or five different spaces, that'd be fun. Follow me from the past into the future. landed in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. We had lovely days of rain most of the way here, so we are several stickers behind. I think uh, Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, and uh, Missouri, oddly enough. We might have one of those, but we're behind because of the rain. 
Didn't think we were going to put them on here because it's a little bit noisy at this park. So we, we ended up here at the Camelot RV campground. Now I'm a big fan of the musical Camelot. I know many of the songs. I listened to the soundtrack not long ago because I'm that guy. But being here inspired me to one when we first got here i played that the camelot song for cindy and she's like oh wow that's awesome i've never heard that because it's wonderful a law was made a distant moon ago here july and august cannot be too hot so i have come up with my own words for the camelot song and you get to suffer through it so let's let's hope i get this right and maybe some editing Maybe some auto-tuning. Just kidding, I don't know how to do that. So, it goes a little something like this. The dogs are not on leashes in the morning. The road noise seems to never disappear. The power lines are right outside your door here. Camelot. Camelot. A bit bizarre. But in Camelot, Camelot, that's how conditions are. I promise there is not a less congenial spot for sleeping or for napping than right here in Camelot. We were going to be here from, uh, from Sunday through Friday. We got zero sleep last night. Uh, we'll get zero sleep tonight because I had just a ton of work to do today. So we will take an hour and a half break through lunch tomorrow. We're going to move down the road and our campsite there is seven miles off the freeway. I don't know how I overlooked this when we booked here. I must have been enamored with the... Uh, the Camelot name. <laughs> when I told them today we were leaving early, they were like, well, the sound gets less at night. It does not. It's like that all night long. It reminds me very much of Amboy and the trains that went through every 15 minutes. But anyway, it's all part of the experience. If you don't like where you are, you pack up and go. So we will do that. I'm gonna go make dinner. You try to get the Camelot song out of your head. Have a good night. In short, there's simply not a more congenial spot for happily ever aftering than here in Camelot. The next morning. We are headed out of the Camelot. RV campground, which is why I'm yelling so you can hear me over the freeway noise. And look who's driving again. And look who's sitting on my lap. That won't last long. The, the lap, not the driving. <laughs> All right. We are happy to be out of here only because it's noisy. The park was nice. The people were nice. It was all nice. The freeway noise was not nice. So we are off to a different spot now. Mountain View RV campground and resort in the old house. Something like that. All right, buckle up and let's go. We're almost to the park and it is a tiny, tiny little road. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> it's uh, like the Blue Ridge Parkway was. Cindy pointed that out. She said it's, it's, it's about the size of the parkway. And it's true, if we ever get that video done, you'll see it. You might eventually see this one. How are you holding up over there? Got a mile. Oh, here comes the truck. Thanks. His ears are sticking over the line. Oh no. Am I okay? You're all good. He's all good. Oh. Nobody fell off the road. Sure? Good job. Yeah. It's all good. You panicked? I panicked. You're all good. Um, one more mile. I'm oh, sure you don't story when I'm just driving along, singing to the music, <laughs> like I've done this forever. But the one time. But I panic. You didn't panic. I panicked a little bit. Okay, because panic. I told me 
mirrors over the line, his toe mirrors over the line. To me, that seems like a conclusion. That's that's when we clink. Clink. There we go. <laughs> There'll be no clinking on the road. No clinking allowed. Oof, so, oh, these hills. These hills. There are some rolling hills here, peeps. Man. <laughs> Nothing funny about this, except the echo of the phones. Okay, Cindy's going to back us in, assuming I can tell her how to back up good enough. Okay. So here we go. This is our site at Mountain View RV Park. Super nice peeps. And this is really weird for me because I, I don't know if I've ever done this part of it. Okay, come back. Um, you're going, <laughs> you're going right. I'm taking the wheel. Right. Okay, now start, take it back to the left to about straight. There you go. Come back more. And now left more. Keep on coming. Left more. All right, left even more. All the way left. And I'm going to fail at backing you up because I'm going to have to have you go forward and do it again. <laughs> okay, let's go from there. You're going to go left. Okay, come on back. All right, now start to follow it a little bit. Right more. Looking good. All right, now a hard right. Okay, and straight back. So, what do I do with the wheel? Take it left. Straight. Come on back. Okay, from there, <laughs> we need to go to the left about four feet. So, I'm going to have you go straight. The trailer needs to go to the left, so I'm going to have you go straight forward again. Take it forward. And now right. More. Back where we started. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, right there. <laughs> now go left. This way. Yeah. And all the right. Well, I'm hoping it will turn away a little bit. It's starting to, yeah. Okay, now now left. All the left. And stop right there. The take the bottom left. Left, right, left, right, left. Left. Yeah. All right, stop. Now take the bottom right and go forward. Oh, forward. Yep. You're all good. I'm just, I'm just trying to find a level spot at this point. We've got to give the level mate a chance to do its thing. We've got three inches. I think we can take it up three inches, right? Why don't you come out and look and see how that works for your your door for the dogs and stuff. How was that? <laughs> we got it eventually, right? I mean, why don't we, why don't we take it? Look at all that. There's nobody. I know, right? That's, that's a good out the window. Oh my gosh, this is so much better than a freaking highway. <laughs> why don't we do what? Take it forward more. So this side is high or low? This side is, is low. It needs to go up about three inches. Um, cool. Good job, baby. All right, you're doing good. I'm not even moving. Am I moving? Yeah. We're at two and a quarter. One and three quarter. One and a half. Am I moving? You are. One. Three quarter. All right, right there. You're, you're just about on the top of them.
Okay, let's uh, see how we did. Later. Today is Airstream Dragon Day. We're leaving this beautiful park, Mountain View RV Park in Missouri. But before we go, we're gonna do some more stickers because we're missing a few states. Four to be precise. And yes, we missed West Virginia entirely. All right. What do we got? Kentucky. Kentucky. Oh, the picture of the horse. That makes sense, I guess. Kentucky Derby and all that. Crooked, but that's good enough. And then, and then, Indiana, 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 Illinois. Indiana's where I'm from. That's right. Were you born in a big red barn? Uh, I wish. Did your mother ever ask you if you were born in a barn? All the time. Every barn? time I left the door open. <laughs> Which is silly because everybody knows. You have to close the doors in a barn or the horses will get out. Uh, Illinois with Chicago. They probably don't see that. And then today, we're now, in... Now, here's what I want to know. What do you want to Why know? is Missouri famous for this big St. Louis Archie thing when really it should be famous for Bigfoot, apparently, to all these people that are at this campground? Oh, we should tell that story, too. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Pretty. Yay! That's All right. Still got a lot to go. We got about half, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Eleven, twelve. Well, I'm, I'm trying to, it's a, that, that's a coastal well, that's state. Eleven, twelve. So, if there's twelve on the east coast, one, two, three, four, and we only got four, so we did, we only did a third, third of the east, east coast. coast. <laughs> but we did all of the west coast <laughs> because because it's three states. there's three yeah. states of course That's they're bad. they're very large states but still cool mm. all right let's go do some more states away we go out of the, the rv park out the way we go out of the rv park to be more specific as i mentioned we are leaving mountain view oh, so rv park in actual mountain view Missouri. When we, we we went there because the first park was so noisy, this will all be in there, rewind and see. Um, we got to this park and it was like deserted. There was nobody there. It was so quiet except for one family had a few kids that were playing. And then the next day, a whole bunch of people rolled in and it was um, old trailers, not that there's anything wrong with that. 
not that there's anything wrong with that. Tent campers. And not that there's and, anything wrong and just with men. That. All men. And even the cabins, they they filled the place up pretty much. And some more rolled in yesterday. I was talking with the neighbor right beside us and uh, they're all Bigfooters. They are here to try and find Bigfoot. Evidently, there's a herd, a family, a gaggle, what are multiple flock? Bigfoots? I don't know. Um, here, and they have heard them. They've cast a couple of Bigfoot footprints, big feet footprints. Um, and they heard one call to its children and all the children, like 30 of them answered. And at one point, somebody had a Bigfoot throw a log at them. Seriously? I don't remember that part. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry for all you Bigfooters out there. I didn't... I'm sorry. I did not know this was a thing. I didn't know this was a thing. First I of all, I thought I thought Bigfoot was only in the PNW. I was really surprised to find out the P Bigfoot was on the East Coast. And then apparently, really, Bigfoot... I guess there's lots of tribes... Of them that you, live what, all somebody over. Somebody tell us what you call them. Please tell us. Okay, Help yeah. us to understand this Bigfoot thing. I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't know people looked for big, you know, like hunted and like went out on weekend excursions to find Bigfoot. They're not really, are they really trying to like find Bigfoot or just find evidence of Bigfoot or like sightings? I mean, they don't want to hurt Bigfoot, right? This, there's no guns not, yeah. involved. There's no weapons involved. This is like cameras. And, and a lot of camping. They do this every year at this park because they've had such success here. It's just a good idea to get a good excuse for them to get away from their wives. And yeah, the neighbor said women. his wife doesn't want to do this, so he has his trailer as his man cave. Which, he was a nice guy, but I'm sure she enjoys these weekends as much as he does. Mm -hmm. so, but it was just funny. She's doing big feet stuff too, though, at home, like getting pedicures. <laughs> right? <laughs> Spa day. So, it was fun. We, we learned something yeah. while we were here. But yeah. What we still don't know is it big foot, big feet, big feet, big fooses, big foxen. I don't know. We'll wait for this truck to go. That's a good idea. Thanks. Because, yeah, so like, what do you call is this a, joke? a lot of feet? No, I'm trying to figure out what, what a bunch of big feet, big foots would be called. I'm, I'm Just a family. I'll bet it's a family. A family of Bigfoot. A family of... Because it's probably not big feet. I don't really like the way this intersection is because, I mean, it looks like they're just going to run right into us. And then at the last minute they take a curve. Thank goodness they're not on their phone. It's kind of blind. Well, tough to see, see the other way, but we're good. We're good. Here we go. So, all right. We are off to Missouri. Yes, we're leaving Missouri. Going we're to in Missouri. Missouri. We're going to Carthage. There's lots of... the. You know, the fall colors are, are doing well. Of course, there's, see, those are the things really that are not um, colorful are pine trees, evergreens. So that would explain that. Hence the name Evergreen. Okay. All right. Tonight we'll be on uh, 66. Hey. All right. Buckle up, Buttercup. Yeah. So, we are way behind again and doing, we figured we better do this because tomorrow we'll have two more states to do. So we're doing a Kentucky. Where else did you go? Went to Indiana. Oh, cool. That's where I'm from. Made I'm in Indiana. Indiana. Uh oh. I'm trying to do it left handed. Why don't you switch and do it right handed? It'll well, be easier. That's a good idea. Oh, try me, try me spots. I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Illinois also? Yeah. And now we're in... There it is. Missouri. I know it has an I on the end, but really it ends with an uh. It does. M-I-S-S-O-U-R-I. O-U-R-A? O-U-R-A. Look at that. Yeah. What happened here? We missed one. Oh, well. So tomorrow, 
we get today tomorrow we get this and this yes, right yes we do 